day two of a major weather effect taking place in British Columbia right now. We're getting snow dumped on us. This bird feeder yesterday, I was filming the quail underneath it and they were down to the grass. Well, This is the attack of the quails. Birds, birds are coming. Look at them all. Oh, the smokes. I don't mind that at all. I was wondering what was going to happen to them when the snow arrived. They're still coming in. One staying out there, but. Coming, coming, coming. And then up on the tree, somewhere, we've got the little guys. Beautiful little guy. And they're going after the feeder. Where is it? There it is. And knocking down the seat for the other birds. Cooperation for the nation. <laughs> Sitting on top. Good luck with that now. There's probably another five or six inches of snow on top of it. And it keeps on falling. Now, the reason I say we have a big weather effect taking place is we're getting a lot of snow dump. Now, this is in the valley. You can't imagine what would be happening higher up in the uh, mountains, on the mountain highways, the roads. You know, Coquihalla Highway is a highway from hell, and I have no doubt that uh, it has become that now. I just saw quail land, by the way, in the garden, somewhere over there. You can see, maybe it's a little trail or something. But, uh, yeah, no, there's one. Camera focuses on the tree ahead of it, not the bird. But the quail are coming. They have to feed. I said this before that, you know, we don't think about this, but animals don't have the luxury of uh, sitting back and uh, waiting out a storm. Even when it's snowing, even when it's cold, it's raining, it's miserable they have to feed to maintain their strength, their body, their heat, everything like that. So then now the struggle comes on. But anyway, as I said, Coquihalla Highway is the highway from hell. And that thing right now could be having, I, I have no idea how many feet of dump snow on it. There's a lot of snow happening at the lower mainland, which is a Vancouver area. Uh, roads are bad. They've had hundreds and hundreds of accidents uh, 
It's people aren't ready for it. People don't have their winter tires. They don't know how to drive in the snow, all kinds of stuff, which means that Prubal next year, wait for it. We're going to get another increase in uh, insurance rates. On top of that, the Alex Fraser Bridge, this big, beautiful new bridge that was built a few years ago, a toll bridge, by the way. Uh, Well, they got ice uh, forming on the structure that falls down. It's ice bombing is how I guess they're putting it now. It's ice bombing cars. So when it's snowing a lot, they have to shut the bridge down so the cars don't get damaged and somebody gets killed. It's crazy. It's absolutely crazy how in Canada and in an area where we get a lot of snow, how ill-prepared people, the government, construction, all these different things are. And uh, what uh, is going to happen now after this big snowfall is that the temperatures are going to plummet. They're saying we're in for an Arctic vortex, which means that the uh, uh, jet stream is coming down over British Columbia. It's dipping way down into the United States. I mean, they got all kinds of weather alerts happening down there, too, and accidents happening and snowfall warnings and all kinds of stuff. But... uh, the temperature is going to dip in Celsius. We're going into the uh, minus 20s, I guess, in the coming week. And they say it could even last two weeks up and past Christmas. So closing into New Year. Holy smokes. Now, if you get into a very big cold snap, kids are out of school at the end of next week. It means that they won't be able to go outside and play. Well, they can. I'm not saying they all won't do it. But in the cold, the kids are going to get uh, pretty stir-crazy in the house. Maybe Santa will bring them all kinds of video games to keep them occupied. Because, man, I tell you, without electronics, kids today are not able to keep themselves amused. So, strange days ahead. Strange days But it does look pretty, I tell you. I I do admit that when the snow falls on the ground, it takes away that brown and stuff like that, and it becomes very peaceful. It's uh, hardly anything is moving out there. I've seen a few birds flying here and there. Like I said, I've just seen the quail coming down by the, uh, underneath the hedges and the shrubs, maybe trying to pick up some seeds and stuff like that, but it's all very peaceful. Uh, kind of time It'd be nice to be down in the tropics sitting on a beach having a cool drink and going in for a dip into the warm Caribbean but this ain't bad either it's not bad because now I'm I'm getting excited the longest day or the shortest daylight is only a what t- uh, 10 11 days out now and uh, after that the days will start getting longer we're uh, into winter uh, And once you start winter, well, you know, next is spring. So two weeks, uh, we're looking into uh, 2017, and uh, that's another year starts to roll over all too fast.